Hey, Mere Christian Logos. I wanted to respond really quickly to the video that you made, uh, a, a rush to judgment, referencing the quiet atheist and myself, and this case where the young boy was uh, tortured by parents who claimed to believe that he was possessed by demons. In fact, they claim that the abuse was self-inflicted. Uh, I think we can all agree that that's probably not what happened. It was probably not self-inflicted. And, and some of the evidence of that would be that they didn't, there's there's no indication, at least in the article, that they sought to get him any kind of help for that. Like normally, if uh, I'm a father, if my child was harming herself, uh, the first thing I would do would be to seek outside help for that. So I don't think anybody is going to believe that story. I don't think you have anything to apologize for in your video. You handled yourself extremely well, and I understand this is something that that causes you a great amount of concern. So I don't think you have anything to apologize for. Uh, Matt Bell is a different story. I'll get to him maybe some other time. It's funny. Uh, I don't know if you watched my video response or my, my video uh, about that. I specifically said I wasn't trying these people, that I was speaking in generalities, that I think when people believe such a thing about other people, that they are possessed by demons, that this can be dangerous. And that I think people should... It's one thing if a person believes it internally and just conducts themselves accordingly. I'll avoid that guy. He might, you know, I think he's got demons in him. But as soon as you move that off site and you move that and, and apply that to another person, I think it becomes dangerous. I think if you're going to accuse someone else of having demons inside them, or if you're going to try to remove those demons in some way, especially against someone who, who uh, doesn't have the, the power in the relationship to assert themselves and say, no, you will not do that, then I think you you, you got to be able to demonstrate that what you're accusing them of, in fact, exists. But I wasn't I wasn't making that case uh, that, that those people were guilty of abusing their child and trying to beat out a demon. I said that in my video. Now, I think it's interesting that you said to the quiet atheist that the case could not be drawn from that article. Uh, that there's no way of knowing whether or not those people actually believe they have the metaphysical beliefs that their child was demon possessed and that either he was perhaps throwing himself against walls or shocking himself with a cattle prod or whatever and that they thought ah it's because of a demon instead of get, seeking outside medical attention or that they were actually beating him themselves trying to you know get rid of this demon that you're that that there's no way of drawing that conclusion that they just were saying that he was demon-possessed as some sort of an excuse. That they were, in fact, l potentially lying. Okay, fair enough. Uh, at least based on that article, and I don't know if there's more out there or not, uh, the quiet atheist couldn't make that, draw that conclusion from that article. But neither could you draw the conclusion that they are lying. As so far, you know, the results aren't in when it comes to that particular case. So, I mean, you know... I think, I think maybe the mistake here is talking about a specific case when all the, when all the results aren't, aren't in, instead of talking about the broader spectrum of, is it acceptable to accuse other people of demon possession? Is it acceptable, you know, especially children um, by parents who carry all the authority and the power in the relationship and ho who are otherwise that child's potentially only advocate and can cause that child harm. My mistake, of course, was in commenting on the video in the first place. I said, great video, and then I listed some reasons why I thought it was, you know, why I appreciated it, that it brought some things to my attention that I hadn't been thinking about, uh, but, but add some content to some things that I had been thinking about, and I want to revise my thinking. And Matt Bell had commented on that and said, oh, this is why, you know, Capricious Black Box uh, is ill-informed to discuss anything about atheism or theism or morality or any of that. I made my video as a response to the dialogue that we had engaged in because he never really made an argument. And then he said that his argument was contained in his video. Uh, but his video, you know, was made before my content, so I don't see how that could be. And then he just backed it up and said, well, I was responding to your comment that it was a great video. And it's not a great video. Well, this is a subjective opinion. You can't refute a subjective opinion, right? You could say well, I think you're wrong and here's why and bring some things to my attention and then I might revise my opinion, but you can't refute a, an opinion. And so he keeps, he's doubling down on this now by saying, no, no, my, my, my whole issue was with your comment that it was a great video. Well, 
you know, what you should do in that case is then say, what makes you think this is a great video? Because what I see here are logical fallacies and rushes to judgment and things like that. And then I could say, oh, well, I, w I actually hadn't thought about those things. I was thinking about this other part, the story being brought to my attention and how it reminded me of other things. And maybe I would revise my, my opinion that it's a great video, but my opinion is actually immaterial to all of this. Um, I think what is of material concern is the notion that people have demons in them, the accusations as such, and what we do with those accusations, and what the potential outcome can be of those things. Uh, I've seen it on YouTube where people suggest that homosexuality is demon possession. And I can see where that can be rationalized to harm somebody. So that's my ultimate concern here, is not hurting the feelings of somebody who has metaphysical beliefs, but hopefully saving people from potential harm. And that's my ultimate concern here. So as to Matt Bell's uh, upload today, which was a response to mine, it's full of a bunch of crap. So I don't even know if I'm going to be addressing it, uh, especially since Matt Bell started a comment thread, tagging me in it and then disabled comments in that comment thread, so I can't even comment on it, which is a little bit childish. So, but to mere Christian Logos, I do just want to say, I understand your concerns, and maybe this is something we can have a dialogue about, but I assure you, my, int my intent was not a rush to judgment on those people. I made that clear in my video, so I'm a little bit confused as to whether or not you watch the video. Again, I don't think you have anything to apologize for. I think your video was heartfelt. That's the kind of dialogue that I'm looking for when it comes to the, the uh, great grand debate or whatever where we can actually, uh, we can actually sit down and, and pour our hearts out and have real mature adult conversations. So I actually very much appreciate your video, Rush to Judgment, and uh, I'd like to know what you think of this one. Uh, maybe we can have a chat sometime, either on or off, uh, off air. Thanks very much for watching.